that's an awesome stage. Woo! Shake it up, shake it up, ow, oh, ow. Oh. That is a nice surprise. So I was like, okay. Okay. And so this tradition. And you love the game. Oh my god, look at the lights. Hi guys, you're here again. Welcome to IP Plays Music. Welcome back to the Swifties because I am going to react to the Reputation Stadium Tour from Taylor Swift. This has been suggested by my silver member on Patreon, Tal. Thanks so much for suggesting this. I'm going to react to it. It's a very long video. It's like two hours and five minutes. So I'm going to start right away. Of course, there's going to be a cut-up version on YouTube a couple of weeks after but on patreon it will be the full uncut and ad free version i am going to try not to pause during the video i'm just gonna say what's on my mind and hopefully you guys can understand that i can always like mix it up a little bit afterwards for youtube last time i reacted to her uh, folklore movie in the long pond studio sessions and that was really cool to see but this will be something totally different i think let's check it out here we go the same cat as before. We hear the crowd. It sounds big already. How old was she there? Uh, all, all the backlash. This is showing how much backlash you get as a popular person, artist. The more love you get, the more hate you get too. Is this her outfit for the concert? I'm kind of excited for this. Man, how big is this crowd? And the stage. Ooh. What a stage. There she is. It's kind of a hip-hop vibe. I don't know the song actually. Totally different vibe than the folklore, of course. Man, where is this stadium and how big is it? Oh my god. This stadium must have like, I don't know, 50k people in it? Something like that? It's just a guess. Oh, we have some dancers here too now. What do these guys have on their heads? Oof. I have a soft spot for like choreography whilst singing. Oof. Like for all the hate comments that we heard Oof. before, like there's certainly there are some things that happened. Oof. Okay. That gave a bad impression, but seeing her success, she must have a lot of talents. It's a fitting title though. Let the games begin. I was about to say, like, what are her strongest points? Because there's a reason that she's so popular too. Man. She looks like a totally different person than in the folklore movie. But that shows another side of her. As such a big artist, you got to have thick skin, I think. I like that it's actually violence playing in the background. <laughs> okay. Nice shot. Man, the fireworks looks like a very expensive concert. That shows how much artists have to act too. That is powerful. Oh, they all have a mic. That is cool to see. Are they actually singing or are they using it as a prop? I think they're actually singing th those words. Oh, and the fire. 
Woof. It is so different from what we've seen her. Like the way she's acting, she seems like a different person here compared to the folklore movie. Yeah, being an artist often also means being able to act. I mean, it's a different atmosphere too. Oh man. Man, these fireworks indoors. Ooh. I wonder how many songs I will know from this show. There should be a couple of them, but... So far, none. It's filmed very nicely, but there's a reason that it's on Netflix, of course. Some slow motion shots too. I like the lightning like coming from her to the sides. I mean from the screen of course, but it's a cool effect. Ooh, man, it's a super cool stage. And the pyros, it's a show. Yeah. Nice moves. Ooh, I love these accents. Exactly. Very cool. How does she connect to the audience? I'm wondering. Well, good evening, Dallas, Texas, and welcome to the Reputation Stadium Tour. You know, guys, I've been, I've been coming to play in the Dallas Arlington area. It's in Dallas. I was looking at the list of times I've played here, and this is actually the 30th show that I'll be playing. 30th, 30th show? So that's a good long history we've got going on. It is. I don't know what's, what you can do in Dallas, Texas. Because of you, this is the first tour. Nobody has ever played back-to-back -back nights at this stadium before. Thank you, guys. What does that mean? It's a little known fact. This is the last night of the U.S. tour. Oh, so this was the end of her tour. You decided not only to spend your Saturday night with us, but to come here to commemorate the last night on this tour that has meant so much to me. That is such a beautiful thing. Thank you for deciding all of those things tonight. I would even say a step above. What's the word for that, Dallas? That's the one. What is it? Gorgeous. Yeah, I, I guess that's something that I don't get that the Swifties do get. Is that the title of the song? Oh, they keep their mics with them. You don't see that often, that the backings are dancing too. It is gorgeous, okay. The displays are amazing too. I love the curvature of these screens too. Man. <laughs> Was that somebody random having a triangle with him? Make some noise for jazz. Oh, all the dancers? Crazy. Camila. They don't do that for dance groups all of the time, right? Often they would like just call out the whole group as one, I think. But not all the individual dancers. They must feel proud. And I'm Taylor, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Yeah, of course she is. Oh, there are more people having triangles with them. Is that a thing? From Taylor Swift? Or are they just bringing that for this song? Uh, she loves the cats. <laughs> I'm wondering if we will see live musicians too here or if that is all 
in the background. Oh, we see uh, a guy on the keys right here. Is it because of the screens that we just can't see them very well? I first thought they were like behind the screens. Oh, I think that's the first one that I know. Yes, all right. I like the guitar there, the little subtle riff in the background. I like these shots where she's walking towards the camera. They're all singing along. No, they're having fun. They're having a lot of fun. Where's the band? Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, it's cool that they actually go on the catwalks and not just stay on their place. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I know this one. Of course. <laughs> Hello. That was a five string bass, by the way, here. And I say. Yeah, this is one of her mainstream songs, so. <laughs> That's cute. This song gives a bit more of that folky feel that we had in the folklore. Oh, this this dance reminds me of uh, Empu from Nightwish. The guy, the way the bassist said. There we go. Oh, it's a cool guitar too. Matte black. I don't think it's a brand I know. <laughs> I think it was that guy's birthday. To me, yeah. Oh yeah, they're all jumping along. Really cool shots. Thing is, like for a lot of these people, she seems like almost a goddess, right? It's their idol. But in the folklore movie, it showed a more close approach to how she actually is as a person. Showed a more personal, more humanized feel of her. Okay, what is this image that we see? Is it from some kind of video clip? Going through the years of her career. What song is coming? Do they know? The Swifties? That's not the way she's dressed, right? Oh, is it? Wait, are those images from live on the stage here? Because that looks really cool. I don't think it is. Her hair was different too. Oh, I recognize it too. Awesome shots. Like your Ooh. Oh, that's an awesome stage. Woo. What you made me do, look what you made me do. Yeah, where did this stage just come from? Yeah, it gives some kind of, I don't know, Egyptian style kind of, with these snakes, or Arabic. I like this bit of a rock feel in this song. I know the song, but I, I like this vibe. And then go over to more a hip hop kind of feel right now. Ooh. 
Oh, what the hell? Where did that come from? That's a full-on cobra. How does that even work? Is it like inflatable or... It couldn't be, right? It's some kind of... Animatronics? Well, that is impressive. Wait, what? Wait, was that from a video or? Love the show. Like the big cobra kind of rem reminds me of uh, Jafar in Aladdin, if you know what I mean, when he transformed. That's cool. Like, is this cobra some kind of animatronics? Like what they use in like Jurassic Park for the dinos and such. And the snake is gone again. Oh, there we go. Reputation. Who is singing along right now? I don't think everything is live sung. I think there are some pre-recorded stuff in there too. And they use some um, tracks for when she's dancing too. Tell me if I'm wrong. Oh, here there are some uh, backing vocals. I'm not sure though. It's just a guess. I do think she sings live though. But I think sometimes there's a track playing as well alongside her. Yeah, it's definitely live what she does, but I think she's accompanied by some other tracks sometimes too, which is fine. I think most artists actually use something like that. Is this called Endgame or Reputation? Because that's how it started. Removing a bit of her outfit. Ooh. I really like that they brought these big like toms on the on the stage. But is the sound actually coming from them? Something tells me it's more like a prop that they use it. Yeah. I don't think the sound is coming from these toms. It's Yeah. It looks more like sheets where they smash into. Damn, nice move, man. That double pirouette into the musical accents. Yeah, it's definitely props. But they look really cool, though. Man, I love this throne kind of with all the snakes. Where did this come from, all these snakes? Love how it tilts too. By now I know that she loves cats, but I didn't know she loves snakes? Or is that not the case? <laughs> that dancer was like, good job. <laughs> Oh, I love this percussive part. Is she dancing along this whole part? I don't see her. It's an absolute show. Very entertaining. So immersive. They're moving them again. Man, I'm wondering how all of this stuff even fits backstage. <laughs> I mean, they must have a huge space over there. Yeah, it's a good show. Really good show. Are we having fun yet? Oh, I'm sure they are. Good. You know, you may notice this. Not sure if you picked up on it yet. I'm pretty sure you have, though. Have you noticed that you have a light-up bracelet on your wrist? Oh, there, oh, there they go. The reason why I wanted to have these on the floor is because this is actually my very first all-stadium. 
What does that mean, an all stadium tour? Oh my god, look at that. Makes sense. Yeah, it's something that they probably light up remotely. Look at the sparkles on, on her mic too. It fits with all the lights in the crowd. Oh, they all wear they all wear sparkles too. <laughs> Could be. Makes sense. Having a bad reputation could get in the way of finding. True. True. She probably has some experience with that too, being such a big artist. They know it. Man, that's such a big stadium. I'm just thinking how good all these cameras must be to film this. Oh, where she's in. Oh, this is going to l be lifted off from the stage. Yeah, there we go. That is so cool in some of these stadium performances. There's a lot of useful infrastructure that they can use to do stuff like this. Oh, that's an awesome shot. Oh, is there a camera on the bottom of this platform? To give some POV from Taylor? Oh, she's going really low to the crowd, I think. This must feel awesome to stand on, on that platform, like going all around the stadium. Oh, where did she stop? That is not on the same stage. That's a separate stage. Right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Notice, obviously. Oh, yeah, and the colors make sense too here. Well, that's what people say. But I keep and I stop. Oh, there's a. Oh, here's the snake too. It's a whole theme, the snakes. Play, 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 and the hand is gonna hit, 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 baby. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it off, and shake it off. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. oh, who's that? Who's that? Wait, she sometimes does that. Letting the dancers having some main vocal moments. That's cool. You don't see that a lot. I think it's very unique that the dancers are also the backing vocals. I've never seen that before. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. On this sick a beat. Ah, I'll shake it off, shake it off, ah, ah, shake it off, shake it off, ah, ah, ah. They're just having a good time too. It just looks like a lot of fun. Woo! Looks like they're good friends too. I always love when they add a, a guitar solo 
where usually there is no solo. This almost looks like the end of a show, but it obviously is not. We're not even an hour in, so... Oh, she's going to play the guitar here? I mean, it makes sense at some point. Cool. But it's, it's an all-round super nice show. Oh, green guitar. An acoustic moment. Uh, and the green mic. <laughs> I didn't notice before. Oh, she has a cold? <laughs> yeah, that's some. It's very realistic because it's something that. <laughs> that, is, that is cool. I've never been handed a tissue in like more of a just more presentation and commitment. Usually that you don't see that. I'm proposing the idea that we spend some time with just you and me and the guitar. Is that alright with you? Green outfit, green guitar and green mic. I love it. The one thing that you guys have always been really uh not just supportive about. You've really encouraged me to experiment with my music. Try different sounds. Try different instruments. You guys were always the ones pushing me. Really, really nah, nah, nah. Is it that song? Yeah, it's no. Uh, it's just the way that you guys have always been. Uh, you know, the style of music. It's a Gibson, an acoustic Gibson. And there are a lot of people in the music industry that thought when you started one genre of music, you'd stay there because that's what people are used to and that's what they like. But my relationship with you and how much we talk online, how much we meet each other at the shows. That makes for this fanatic b fan base having this great connection with your audience. You guys are so all about lyrics and all about a feeling. I think that's kind of all you care about when it comes to a Oh, he, this guy's crying. I love that she is talking while she's playing. I always wanted for a song to be able to be stripped back down and still be something that you liked and wanted to at the top of your life. That is a great idea. Songs that you can do both big and acoustically. Wait, I think that green guitar doesn't have a full hollow chest. Yeah, I don't think it's a hollow chest. It's like closed off. Oh, they're singing along. That's the greatest feeling. And that's the thing with acoustic, you just, you can hear it. And a green capo, I didn't see it before. Oh my god, I would love that. My favorite color is green. I love how she did this. And still keeping the sparkles. I don't see any connection though. Yeah, I love how they sing along the crowd. I love the screen and back that is blurry. Where is like the transmitter from the guitar? Those are really cool moments. And they enjoy that a lot. It's more, a lot more personal and a lot more intimate for the audience too. I love that everything was green. So, um... <laughs> Wait, it's another mic? You know, when I look at a song... Is that another mic? Or does the mic change colors? What? Get past something and understand something I'm going through by writing about it. Makes sense. You guys were like saying to me online, I really want you to play older songs that you don't play very often. Mmm. That is a nice surprise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and so this is super fun going back through and playing songs I haven't played in forever. It's weird because I feel like this song has two lives to it in my brain. In her not so long life herself. She's not that old. I'm wondering what song it is. I probably don't know it. Watching you scream the words to this song. 
for seeing pictures that you post to me of you having written the words to this song in your diary or showing me your wrist and you have a tattoo of the lyrics to this song underneath the skin. Man, right. And she's still playing. I don't know the song, I think. How is it called, this song? A photo album? Oh, I love the little stars on her guitar. I didn't even notice before. Again, relates to the sparkles, I think. All of the lights. Just feel that moment. I don't see things, right? The mic did change colors, right? Or did they change the mic? I didn't see. She also has something like... Oh yeah. She does have a little edge on her on her voice sometimes in the end, which I like. Like a rough diamond kinda. A little crackle sometimes. I mean it's not really a crackle, but Yes. That's an awesome moment for her and for the crowd, I think. The feeling she has right now, standing there, she's just taking it in. I think. <laughs> Just have a bit of a pause there. Okay. Yes. Probably the amount of people that's... What? Oh man. Oh, they love this. They always love it when they're when the artist go does this. Everybody getting emotional there. And not only the girls, the guys too. You ready? I recognize the song already. Oh wait, how does the how did this change? Did you just remove her jacket? Oh yeah, she did. She had it underneath it, I didn't even notice. Oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> she was saying. Okay, there she goes. I'm wondering how they will sing this along. Will she let the crowd sing? Yeah, the mic changed colors again. Or did they change the mic again? I don't know. I don't. I never noticed it. If they changed it, they did it really good. Oh, this is... Is this the shape of a heart? The stage? And you love the game. And I'll write your name. Yeah, it, it, yeah, those are hearts. Two hearts. Uh, I'll tell you I'm insane. And you love the game. It's just a feel good vibe, I think. And I'll write your name. Every time she gives a wink to somebody, they all think it's to them. <laughs> And it's torture. Don't say I did say I didn't want oh, yeah. space. Oh, this guy kinda looked like um Justin Timberlake from a certain angle. <laughs>
another glitter outfit. There's definitely some kind of theme here, like sparkles, similar colors, cats, snakes, and a lot of fun. I was just thinking. What does 13 mean? Guys. It sounds dumb because I don't know a lot of her, about her. Yeah. I didn't even know she had a song called that. Oh, such a, These shots are gorgeous. Oh, there's somebody dancing here. Oh, that's a cool effect. Oh, there are multiple of them. Oh, it really fits the mood of the song, I think. Very smooth. It's definitely one of the slower songs from her, right? I don't know the song, actually. Just adding the snap. Ooh, I love these moments. Gives a little moment of surprise there. Oh, what's happening? And then they start again. Nice. Oh, that's... You see the snake with like the rib cage and such. Really strange to see. In honor of Loy Fuller, pioneer of the arts, dance and design, and who fought for artists to, the, to own their work. Okay. This is going to be a big shift, I think. Ooh. Ooh, I like the, the guitar sound there. Oh, she's standing in the ribcage of the snake. Oh, bad blood. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, I, li I love the guitar in this. It just makes it so much rougher and tougher. All the props they use. Oh, it's so Think about the good times. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. We got bad blood. Like, no matter what you think about the music, you can't deny it's a great show and it's a super fun experience. Imagine being over there, it must be a lot better than what I see here now. It's such an awesome stage. So many possibilities. It's also very fitting that there's none other than red lights and bad blood. These guys are coming down, what is happening? Oh, that's, that, that's not just normal dancing. They're doing some flips and, stu and such. Oh, this is probably one of the most impressive stages I've seen. Oh, <laughs> I missed that accent. Your bullet holes isn't sorry just for show. Done. Now, now we got bad blood. Oh my God! Look at the lights. Super nice. So awesome. Yes. Wait, how far are we in? Yeah, there's still like more than half an hour to go, so... They're adding something extra to the song? Yeah, impressive show, really impressive. Okay, what is coming now? Oh, look at the lights here. Looks so good. What are they dressed like, the dancers? Oh, 
all the props, all the costumes, all the lights, it's just the amount of production that goes into a show like this. I think a lot of people underestimate this. It sometimes looks like there's a whole building behind her, but it's the stage, part of the stage. Man. I don't know the song. Is it about drugs? Or addiction? Yes. Ah, oh, I got the shivers, man. Oh. God damn. There were some uh, pretty high notes in there too. I haven't really heard anything that was off with her singing. Not at all. Oh, she's going to play the piano too? Oh, we haven't seen this in the Folklore album. Reputation says it. Oh, I love that mic too. Again, she's playing while she's talking. I loved you as soon as I heard you screaming. <laughs> Camila, Charlie, all these wonderful, incredible, iconic people I get to be on stage with. It is cool that she calls out everyone here. We've all dreamed about being on a stage like this since we were little kids. Yeah, who hasn't? We have 368 people who travel with us around the world. Leave their families. 368 people. Feel, help build the stage. But yeah, lighting. look how big that stage is. That is incredible. I want to say thank you to every single person. It is good that she mentions that. Not everybody mentions all the people backstage that helped too to set up this whole event. Three, 386, 68 people? That's crazy. Absolutely love that mic too. Ooh, end of the decade, begin of the age. Again, I don't think I know this song. She seems pretty low for a girl. I said it before. After New Year's Eve. Makes sense. Joining her. Some of these people, they're just having the time of their lives. It's cool that the mic is actually attached to the piano. That is very unique, but very efficient. Man, to sit over there. Sometimes, as an artist, in these moments, you have to think, how did I do this? How did I get here? Sometimes it's mu it must feel unreal, like a dream. But in these moments, you have to realize that all of this is real. That there's millions and millions of people loving you. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Yeah, she just felt that. Yeah, moments like these, you can really feel that connection with her in the crowd. What is this? An intermezzo? She's talking. And blew away with the wind that Ooh. Her and a 
love that was really something. Not just oh, we hear some harmonics on the guitar. Shiny pennies. Some salt lakes there. By design or some violent, exquisite happenstance. Here. Huh. Is it from a video clip of hers? I haven't seen it, so... Is it called Getaway Car? Oh, it is called Getaway Car. Oh, they have a key change in this song? <laughs> They're going. I love the usage of some slow motion shots in between too. But just the overall vibe of this concert. Okay. <laughs> just to end it. Those shoulders. Oh, she removed the jacket. Oh, I know this, right? Oh, love the fan. How did they get that then? I mean, how does all this decoration and this infrastructure work? It must be interesting to know what goes on in the background too, backstage. Oh, that's really nice. I don't think I know the song anyways. I thought I did, but I don't. Very nice. I'm really wondering, let's see, 10 to 15 minutes to go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Like the guitar there too, always like it when they add that. Never, never, ever getting back together. You go talk to your friends, talk to my friends, talk to me. Getting back together. Like I said, I only know the mainstream songs. Oh, this seems like a song that they could use as a last song, but I'm not sure. Except if they like long it out for a bit more. Or is there another song after this? It must be so much fun to rehearse this too. As dancers, being able to dance here, how much higher can you get? I didn't even know this before, but it's just, it's another song right now. <laughs> okay. What the hell? <laughs> That's random. It's cool though. It's a bit lighthearted. Look at her jump. Yes. Oh, they're really going all out with the water here. This seems like a like a final performance to me. Damn. This looked like a final. Thank you so much for an incredible evening and an amazing tour. We love you. 
But it's still almost 10 minutes to go. Oh, there will be some credits probably at the end too. It was a great show. I love the show. Yeah. And although I don't know a lot about her or listen a lot to her music, it would have been an awesome time if I were there. Such a good show. And Taylor, of course, herself. Going to the other side? Of course. Is she gonna go into the crowd too or not? I mean, she did before, so... And back in the middle. Oh, she's going down. Oh, okay. Man, that is a show. God damn. That was an incredible show. And in the death of her reputation, she felt truly alive. Yeah, I don't know what, what all of us is about about her reputation, but how fun was that? There's a reason she's so successful. She seems genuine as well. It's cool that we see a, a little bit of behind the scenes here. Okay, we see all the crew members or band members. Oh, what a stage. So, so many dancers. So some of the dancers were also backing vocalists or vice versa. I still think that's pretty unique. Uh, and also, like I said before, the glitter is some kind of theme, I think. All the different colors that matched the snakes. I don't know what that is all about, but the cats and uh, the costumes and the connection with the crowd, the fun vibes, I think. It was a totally different vibe that we got from her, a totally different perspective of her compared to the Folklore album. It's so big that I have to transport with these uh, mini cars, like these golf cars, kind of like. Yeah, rehydrate, super important. Okay, so first of all, huh. she's preparing her speeches. <laughs> it is nice to see. Yeah, it was really impressive. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, that's an understatement. <sighs> what an arena. That was awesome. Uh, Tal, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this. And I hope you all enjoyed my reaction to this. I had a ton of fun watching this. And it must have been a super cool experience to be there. The show was great. The interaction with the crowd was great. I see why the Swifties are what they are. The Swifties. Like, if somebody would ask me, like, if you... Uh, would you like to join me for, like, some Taylor Swift concert? I'd be down. I'd be down. It's not the music that I always listen to, but I love it. I loved it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this full concert of Taylor Swift, the Reputation Stadium Tour. Like I said, it will be posted on YouTube a couple of weeks later on. A cut-up version. If you want to see the full version, it's on Patreon. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other reactions on Patreon or on YouTube. I also have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>
Uh, but on Patreon, there is a full... Uh, last I, last time, I reacted to the Folklore uh, Studio set. Also, don't forget to check out some of my... Um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, yeah.